What's up, nerd and noobs? It's Maceblade here with your basic guide to skill ups, skill training, and what you can do, the fastest things you can create to increase these skills. Now, this is a voice overlay, so I apologize if it doesn't line up exactly, but this is me just going through and showing you that this new character, nothing unlocked, no skill levels at all, and we're just going to start with your basic axe, you know, pickaxe, construction hammer type crap. Just dropping those so you can see that I'm just crafting from the beginning and uh, this is going to also show you your fact that you don't get skill ups from this menu here. From the hammer menu you do not get skill ups. You, get, you can craft the same items in the workbench and get your skill ups for weapon manufacturing but when you craft it from hand you cannot get skill ups. Now one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to unlock the craft bench. I mean, obviously this is a preloaded game, um, so I did not get any skills for the engineering or mechanical or anything like that. So that's why we are going to unlock the, the craft bench first, because it's the first thing you should be doing. And then we... Uh, do our, our uh, planks, our boards, all that requires no skill. And then we're going to look for the furnace. Now the furnace requires the clay, um, so we have to just do a quick search for this clay. And the clay is pretty easy to tell what it is. Um, if it looks like pepperoni pizza, slapped onto a rock or a lava rock or just a red mess like a red clump that's clay and that's what you're going to be looking for so I fast forwarded a little bit on the back side of the barn right there at the newbie island you know you can see different things like um, these ores here that one's silver you can tell by it's got silver on it and the other one was ore and then as you get close to these redder ones that's clay and that one's clearly clay so you're just going to mine that um, it should give you a pretty high yield so recommend if you have a cart to use the cart um, and just stock up while you can. And just to show you that this one's silver, we're going to mine this one anyway. Now usually with ore and silver and limestone even, you'll get rocks too. They'll give you like three or four rocks. Now here we're 
we're in the middle of on our way back, or I was on my way back, and I found some seeds and some fertilizer right, and stuff. And we're going to loot that for later because we're going to need that when we try to do our agriculture. So you might as well just loot all you can and, uh, you know, just just to prep. You know, it's never too much to just loot extra in the beginning because you're going to use all your materials you find anyway. Your uh, furnace is going to be under, you know, synthesis. Now, out and about, I managed to find a bunch of books, and, uh, you know, the books are technically the easiest way to level, the quickest way. It kills your mentality, but, you know, it is what it is. I sped this up a lot because it takes quite a long time. So, while you're waiting for that to cook, you can actually go through and make your planks and raise your other skills. You can bounce back and forth between, you know, multiple different benches and just, you know... Just keep an eye on the timer. And then you'll get mechanical here. And then you come back over here, you know, and you'll get your metallurgy. Now, metallurgy, the easiest thing to raise is not the iron blocks like I did. It's actually the charcoal. You'll see that I change it up later on. But the charcoal takes 60 seconds per, you know, and the metal blocks take a lot longer. They take 80 So once this block finishes, we're going to cancel it, and then we're just going to switch to um, the uh, charcoal. You're going to need the charcoal later on. You don't necessarily need it right now. I don't know if it's something you want to hold on to, to be honest with you. It takes up quite a bit of space, but, you know, it's just uh, it's something that you're going to use for water filters later on. Now the the skill raising process is a it's a slow process you know it's not something that happens very fast um, books and training at the vendor are definitely the fastest way and books are pretty plentiful I mean there's a vendor that sells the books so if you want to take a hike up there and honestly the volume ones aren't that expensive you could, basically anything you loot along the way is going to buy you your volume one books as you can see right here you know. It, it raises you up quite fast. So now that we're a Metallurgy 1, the Metallurgy Volume 1 book is no good to us. We cannot use it anymore. Now we can make some bricks. I mean, if you have time to kill, you know, you're waiting for a night and you have to go to the bathroom or something like that, it's definitely not a bad idea to, you know, work your skill 
during that time in your downtime. You know, it's it sucks to have to waste daylight to work skills, but this is just a training video, you know, so this isn't a, anyone that I'd play on seriously. Now the copper and iron ingots are going to be, are going to require those little blocks we looted. Um, and we already, we already chopped down a couple, uh, uh, nodes. So we have some ore, we have some silver, you know, and we already had, you know, the clay. Now we have to build our smelting, build our smelting furnace, because that's the only way you're going to make your ingots. But you have to stoke this one, so you're going to need a uh, fire source. You know, you're going to need uh, logs or planks or sticks. You know, coal, whatever you want to, whatever you want to burn. Unfortunately, we have an abundance of planks because uh, we are working multiple skills at once, and I need to free up some space. So. So I've already unlocked the ingots. Um, I kind of skipped by that part on accident, but uh, it literally required one copper block to unlock the copper ingot and one ore block to unlock the ore ingot. Now you can get them by smelting down the uh, big chunks of ore and the big chunks. Actually, I've never even seen big chunks of copper, but mm -hmm. either way, um, I guess they're in the mines. I, I don't know. They're, the engines on the cars have enough aluminum and copper to not ever need to go there, so... Get, just, just get some of these roasting around because you're going to need them all later on anyway. You're going to need the iron ingots to unlock more recipes, you know, and then they're going to be used for most crafting in tier 2. In my way, you can build other things. You know, building only increases your engineering skills and your mechanical skills, so. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of engineering, this character hasn't built anything, so I have to show you how to raise engineering. Now you can do it by building stuff, or you can get engineering points by destroying stuff. Foundations do not yield any uh, items in return, so like if you were to destroy, uh, uh, let's say your smelter, or you know, a uh, bench or um, even a storage container, you'll get engineering experience for, you know, destroying it. Just gonna take out this whole overhang here. So you get quite a bit just for that. But then you have to realize that you're out all of those materials because you cannot get them back. I also want to emphasize if you destroy something that's underneath something else, you only get engineering experience and the materials back for the original item you destroyed. So if you destroy, you know, a corner post on the bottom floor and it, it totally collapses your entire top floor, then you only get the, you know, experience and the materials for the thing you destroyed below. 
scaffolding, for example. Um, if you build like four tiers of scaffolding and you destroy the bottom one, you only get the original amount for the bottom scaffold and the rest of it just collapses and falls apart and you don't even get experience for it. So just keep that in mind. Scaffolding is actually a, a pretty easy way to raise your engineering and mechanical skills because you can build one on top of the other and then just destroy them on your way down and you get all your materials back just to keep rebuilding if you want to and you can place them outside you don't have to be inside you can put them wherever you want to i think it requires 15 sticks and uh or no 15 planks and two sticks or four sticks or something like that i cannot remember now, agriculture can be a pain in the ass. Agriculture and electrification. Um, the reason being is because as of right now, the only way to raise them, and I believe medicine, is um, by the books. You have to have the books. So you either loot them or buy them or trade for them, or you know, or you can raise your skill with a vendor. You know, tr give them certain things, or give them things to raise your faction, and then your faction you can use as uh, currency to raise your skills. Okay, so here's the vendor for your buying your books. Um, he's down in the south midsection of the map. Um, and you can buy any books from him. Not all the books, but any of the books. You know, it, it can be any ones. Um, I went down here on this character first time, and he had volume ones of, you know, agriculture. He calls it breeding and farming, but it raises your agriculture. You just look at the, you know, the positive things you get from it on the bottom. You know, and then um, he also had electrification, which is great, because I bought both of them. And uh, just because... They're hard to raise. They're hard to get up to level one. Once you get past level one, you're usually pretty good. There's enough things to build or do to raise it. Um, but if you can afford level twos, I mean, the higher you raise it with the books, the better. Because the books just take you up so much faster. It's like one point every four uses. It's like 25% per use. Or it could be 20% per use. I'm not quite sure. You can see my agriculture skill is zero. And, uh, you know, you use the book one time, and the amount of skill you gain is is pretty good. You lose mentality, but honestly, if you have beer, wine, or cigarettes, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, see, so you get about 20% of a skill point. Now, this is limestone. This is, you know, it's a whitish rock. It's I know it's kind of hard to tell. It's white because it's late at night, but everybody has problems finding limestone. I found this one just running around, you know. It's not that hard. It's just the whitest rock. So, and then you need limestone to unlock cement. And, uh, you know, but you need a metallurgy grade of two, so. I'm almost there. I gotta cook some more shit. But, um... I'll probably just cheat and use the book. I also got to raise my other skills up too. My engineering and my mechanical. Sorry about that.
as you can see, my uh, skill's going up very slow. So. gonna raise my agriculture here get some plant boxes going I was hoping I could find a way to raise the agriculture skill but I couldn't so we're just gonna use the book and we're gonna cheat so we can get at least get some crops started Now, the nutrient solution only gives you about half um, of your fertility, but in a water culture box, it gives you full fert fertility, you know, and the water culture box can be hooked up directly to your water source. But seeing how we don't have that unlocked yet, um, we have to use more nutrient solution than expected. Now, the only difficulty I find with this is the fact that you cannot technically make nutrient solution until you can unlock the bench. So you're really relying on luck, you know, a whole lot of luck. I'm hoping that gets changed uh, because it seems kind of odd, you know what I mean? That you can't, uh, th that you can't make the solution needed to even raise your skill to begin with, you know. It would be, it'd be cool if you didn't have to rely on books to raise, to raise your skills, you know, like. You shouldn't need an agriculture one skill just to build a box, you know, to put dirt in. So, you know, I'm hoping that uh, maybe that gets changed and he lowers the skill on that. But we shall see. Now, that's it's about a 14 game day, 14, 15 game day for yield on your crops. Um, if you already are kind of established I'd stagger it so you're not getting so many crops in one day unless you have a canning station because you're going to have a lot of wasted wasted product 